Just over 160 years ago, Father Henry Lemke embarked on a journey to found a monastery, to spread the Benedictine charism in the Catholic faith across a growing nation. Arriving to find a region ravaged by conflict, he was able to provide the sacraments for the locals and convince Archabbot Boniface Wimmer that Kansas was ready for a monastery. On April 27, 1857, his dream was realized with the first monks arriving to establish the community, St. Benedict's. In the years that followed, monks continued to flow from Pennsylvania and local men began joining the ranks of these Kansas monks. In 1858, the monks founded St. Benedict's College, establishing their first apostolate in Kansas. Monks were called upon to offer the sacraments to the settlers, riding a circuit on horseback across Kansas to Colorado, across Nebraska and Iowa. In 1876, with the community reaching 27 in number, St. Benedict's was named an abbey, and Abbot Innocent Wolf was elected abbot. During his 43-year leadership, the community grew to 93 members, and parishes were established to take the place of the circuit riders. Since that time, eight abbots have served as fathers in Christ to the community that has produced three bishops, founded a daughter house in Brazil, and served countless Catholics in Northeast Kansas and beyond. Over these 160 years, 272 men have lived and died as Kansas monks. Throughout this history, from a tiny wooden priory to the stone monastery on the bluffs of the Missouri River, there has been one constant, prayer. At the heart of the monastic life, taking primacy over all that they do. Monks of St. Benedict's Abbey have been an important part of the church here in Northeast Kansas almost from its very beginning. They are examples to us of really putting God first in our life and then ordering our life in a balanced way, which they do with their life of work and prayer. Thank God there are people today who as their main job pray the song. Human beings, whether they acknowledge it or not, have a longing for God. Monks, in a very pointed way, remind the world of this truth. It's the hunger for God, to find peace in God alone. The monks embody that, and I think more than ever now, it's needed in our society. Through the ages, year after year, day after day, that they embrace the prayer life, and how that becomes the backbone of the church, but it also becomes the backbone of our college and our students. In this society where it's so difficult for people to stop and think and pray and spend time with God, the example and the dedication of the monks is just a beautiful manifestation of uh, the capacity that we have to give ourselves to God. So I think they are essential for the life of the church. In our 160 year history, that what impresses me the most is the dedication of all the confreres that have gone before us to build up this school for the Lord's service. The beauty of their dedication and their sacrifice. To see what our monks are doing today in our apostolates among young people, that excites me. And to see the great spirit of this house to continue on. To stand on this rock that has been given to us, this legacy, and to be able to move forward with that gives us great hope and excitement for the future of St. Benedict's Abbey.